Okay, we're going. We're going. We're going. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. Oh, okay. It's hovering. It's hovering. It's hovering. It's hovering. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, no. It didn't go. There wasn't sufficient thrust to actually keep it up. It, yeet, it slid straight off the pad. There wasn't sufficient thrust. That tells me that's the, that's the thrust. There's the sound. There's the sound. Unfortunately, it, w it went sideways. I believe that's the end of the Eris rocket. We have a cloud, and that's the end. So that tells me that the way the rocket reacted, there was insufficient thrust available for it to actually launch off the pad. It was enough for it to release, but it wasn't enough for it to actually get to orbit. So, yeah, so what we've got now is we've got the aftermath of a failed mission. Um, so uh, congratulations to um, Gilmore Space for the attempt. Congratulations to everyone for, um, for giving it a try. Um, look, it is a sad day at the moment. Um, however, these things are, they are covered in sensors, like a lot of sensors. Um, and basically what that means is that, um, that they'll get all that data and they will be able to analyze the data and find out exactly what went wrong, how it went wrong, and if they'll find out um, ex exactly what to do better next time. So uh, just to recap really quickly, the rocket went up slightly. Um, there was insufficient thrust. It kind of wandered sideways. Um, and what you can see now is the steam at the top there and the black. That black smoke is what is left of the rocket. Um, so the rocket didn't actually work at all. It was good sounds though, good sounds. However, the, the, it has been an absolute failure. Um, so unfortunately, so it's one of those things. It has a failure, they'll fail fast and fail forward. So what that means is they'll gather all the data, they'll take it all back, they'll analyze it. It may mean there's a slight delay for their next launch attempt, which could be anywhere between, between the end of this year and the end of next year. There's a lot of data that they need to get through um, to actually make sure that, that they've, um, they've done the right thing. There will also be an investigation into this as well because the Civil Aviation and Safety Authority, or CASA, will no, oh, there was a boom. That's the rocket exploding. What? It blew up. <laughs> yep, it blew up. There is your proof that it blew up. So the question was, did it blow up? Yes, it did. It absolutely blew up. There it is. <laughs> and that's the end of that. That's such a shame. Oh, oh, exciting for a minute, for a, for a minute. That was really exciting. That was really exciting. I really thought that that was going to go. Um, yep, that boom was the end of the rocket. Um, so hopefully it hasn't actually taken out their, um, their infrastructure that's over there, their, um, their vertical, uh, horizontal um, mounting facilities, all that sort of stuff, or horizontal integration facilities. Yes, but that is the end of the Aeros rocket. So um, first, first time, first attempt um, of an all Australian-made rocket, um, and unfortunately it has ended in a bit of a, an explosion.